Steve Yanni here at ILK Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with a look at a very special 1968 GTO Pro Touring. Now, 68 is the first year for the second generation GTO. Shorter wheelbase, but actually a longer hood than 64 through 67. Made the car even cooler. One great thing about these is the prow on the front and the Endora front bumper, which is standard, although there was a chrome delete option on a handful of cars not seen here, but you've got to love that. This is actually a urethane rubber coating over a steel bumper, and this was one of the iconic Pontiac noses of all time. This one also has the hideaway headlights, which were an option, and here they are with their vacuum modulators uh, functioning and rebuilt. But most importantly, this one has something unusual under the hood. Instead of the 400, which could be had with ram air this has a different kind of ram air a turbocharger there it is this is a 400 board 30 thousandths over with a full scat rotating assembly all billet with a large turbocharger that's intercooled and uh, this essentially is going to ram the air into that 400 like no hood mounted vents ever could you got to love the execution here very nicely done fabricated parts here and there, but they look very, very nicely TIG welded. Uh, the radiator is a massive champion crossflow piece. And underneath the valance up here is water intercooler. Well, here's the reservoir for it right here. This guy unscrews, you fill that with coolant, and it helps to keep the charge temperature down low. Uh, power disc brakes up front power steering, and this is an all-iron Pontiac engine, and that's a good thing because with turbocharged boost, in some cases, aluminum heads uh, may not be as rigid as iron heads, and these heads have been ported on intake and exhaust uh, sides, so this engine is quite the little animal, but very, very tractable with a four-speed 4L60 automatic with a hardened input shaft, uh, carbon fiber drum uh, bands, and, and all kinds of goodies inside. Here are the aftermarket wheels, looking good, American Torque Thrust look, and these are uh, 17s in the front. There's those disc brakes. The paint on this car is beautiful. It's an immaculate piece, and it is a true GTO. We know that because the VIN has a 242 right there. It's a real GTO. In fact, it's one of 87,684 built in 1968. It was Motor Trend's car of the year also in 1968. Let's open the door and look inside. Beautiful car with bucket seats center console, an aftermarket B&M shifter controlling that 4L60 transmission. And keep in mind, the 4L60 is a four-speed with overdrive. The beauty there is that top gear, I believe, is 0.67, meaning that uh, engine RPMs drop down considerably when you put in overdrive. And if you're on a closed course, <laughs> the ability to top 150 miles an hour is probably not out of the question thanks to that overdrive. And uh, just nicely done quarter panels here, beautiful black paint. Again, the 17 inch rims in the back and let's take a peek in the trunk and see what's going on there um, and you got to love again the the 68 gto restyle the trunk was actually made shorter than 1964 through 67 and it really enhanced the car's long hood short deck look and just a beautiful classic american muscle car with a pro touring twist okay let's pop the trunk yeah, very nice. The Zolotone effect is correct. The trunk floor has been replaced. I see a seam here, but that's okay. That means that there's no Bondo. There's no, you know, trying to make old stuff work. This is all fresh metal, nice and clean. Trunk-mounted battery, something you would not find in a GTO, but that's okay. Again, by putting the battery in the trunk, you put more weight on the rear tires for better uh, weight transfer and acceleration and traction. Uh, the rear axle on this one is a GTO 10 bolt with a 342 axle ratio. Gonna love the rear sway bar. That's an aftermarket item. The rear control arms are stock, but they're boxed for rigidity. So that's the story of this 1968 Resto Mod. A uh, little bit of Resto, a lot of Mod. Uh, GTO, a true 242 car done beautifully in black. And keep in mind that High Octane Classics does offer financing with as little as 10% down, and they will also deliver the car to your door. And they do take trades, late models, other collector cars, everything is considered. So to learn more, just go to the High Octane Classics website and click on the mouse. Mm -hmm.